So, the latest saga in the Arsenal circus. Just if you thought it couldn't get any worse after yesterday's mauling up at Anfield, we find out today that we've agreed and accepted a fee with Chelsea for £35 million for Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. As I'm recording this, um, that news broke a couple of hours ago, so yes, I'm a bit late to the party this time. Um, regardless of what you think of Oxlade-Chamberlain, He's going to be dubbed a snake regardless. He's going to get booed. He's going to get abuse. Um, based on what I witnessed yesterday, you know, some of it can be justified, I suppose. I mean, I don't hate Oxley chamberlain I don't hate the guy. I think that he's been unfairly treated at Arsenal. I think he's played in about six or seven different positions. He's not a right wing back. Although saying that, he has done better there than Hector Bellerin in the last year or so, I suppose. Um... You know, what more can we say? Does anyone trust Wenger to go and spend the Ox money on anything else? Because I certainly don't right now. Um, I'm still deeply hurt from yesterday. Um, completely and utterly disillusioned with this football club. So, yeah, um, I'm, I'm not sure we can go and trust Wenger to go and buy what's required. He hasn't done it for years. Is he going to change? A leopard never changes its spots. Um, just coming back to Ox himself. Um, he's been here, what, six years? Scored nine Premier League goals. Not good enough. Not good enough. Um, yes, he's had injuries. Yes, he's played in a million different positions. But at the end of the day, if he wants out, he's got to go. And that goes for anyone who plays for Arsenal. If they don't want to be here, just go. I'm sick and tired of this same rubbish. You know, he rejected a contract for 180 grand a week uh, last week. Um, there's now reports coming out that Chelsea are giving him 150 grand a week. So it's quite clear he didn't want the money. It's not about the money. He's obviously felt disillusioned by the club as well and by Wenger. I feel a lot of players want out because Wenger signed a new contract. But ultimately, we've not seen the best out of this player. And, and when we signed him, I expected a whole lot more. And that hasn't come to fruition. So... Whether that's his fault or the club's fault or Wenger's fault, you know, I'll let you guys decide that. At the end of the day, if you don't want a beer, go. I'm sick and tired of these players taking the piss. Um, one thing I will say is that if he was demanding 180 grand a week, I think there's only one person we can blame for this. And that's Wenger. He's given Theo Walcott 140 grand a week. So now any player coming into the last year or so of their contract is going to look at that and go, well, hang on, he's on 140. I think I'm better than him. I want more money. So, but like I said, he is going to Chelsea for less money. So in my opinion, it's not about the money with the Ox. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Are you happy he's going? If, if you're not, let me know. And if you are, tell me to. I'll try and reply to as many as I can. But I'll be honest with you, my comments, uh, <laughs> wow. The last two videos have just blown up massively and the comments are going nuts and I do try and reply to all of them. Um, forgive me if I don't reply to any of them tonight. I'm going to go and enjoy a nice quiet evening with my missus and have a couple of drinks and chill out because although I've been around her all day, I haven't actually spent any time with her because I've been replying to YouTube comments and tweets and stuff like that. I've been on all social medias today. So peace and love, peeps. Let me know what you think. Laters. Mm -hmm.